Hi everyone, I'm Mario Levesque and I'm the head of the Department of Politics and International Relations here on Mount Allison University. And welcome to the political world. It's a fascinating subject area to study and research and learn more about it because politics is all around us. And politics, when you really think about it, it's about power, how you obtain power, how you use power once you're actually there, and also how we put checks on people that do have power to make sure that they govern in the common good. This is fascinating and there's multiple ways of exploring the topics of power. You can unpack it from a political ideology perspective. You can take a look at it from comparing different government systems. You can take a look at it from international relations or international development or from my own area of research and teaching, which is Canadian politics and Canadian public policy. Now, let me give you an example right here. Right now in Canada, around Digby County in Nova Scotia specifically, we have a lobster dispute, a fishery dispute in here, involving our indigenous fishermen with our non-native fishermen as well. And the question here is that the indigenous fishermen are going out to fish for lobster out of season. The non-native fishermen are really concerned about this. Why? Why can the indigenous fishermen go out and fish out of season when the non-native one can't? This, this is interesting and it conflicts with our licensing system for the fisheries in Canada. But does it though? We have to think about this. Because in 1999 in the Marshall decision, indigenous peoples in Canada were given the right to uh, provide for themselves a moderate livelihood, which means they could fish, they could hunt, uh, they could log trees, providing for their own families a moderate livelihood. So, and this livelihood is able to be done throughout the year. So this means they don't have to respect those uh, boundaries in terms of specific fishing seasons. However, in this process, the federal government still maintains control to protect the fishery. So for conservation purposes, the federal government can put in rules and regulations to preserve the fishery to make sure that it's sustainable. So what's happening in Nova Scotia right now? Well, the non-native fishermen are questioning the, the native fishermen's ability to go out and fish simply because they say that it's not sustainable. Right now, the provincial government has stayed out of it because they say this is a federal responsibility. The federal government right now has not said anything on the fishery. They have not intervened at all. Worse yet is they have not tried to force uh, any type of conservation measures that are needed for the fishery. So we have whether or not conservation measures are needed, that's in dispute right now. And we have native and non-native fishermen challenging things as well. This goes to power. The federal government has the power to act in this process in here, but they're being re they're re deliberately restraining themselves here to try to bring the two sides together to come to a common ground on the actual issue. This is important in here in Canada for uh, reconciliation with our indigenous peoples. What to do? How do we move forward in here? How, do, how are we going to broker this type of divide between the two fishermen? These are all questions of politics and questions of pressing issues that you can explore as you take our courses here on campus. And while I would love to have you be a major or an honor student in political science or Canadian public policy or the uh, politics, philosophy and economics or in the international relations program that we put forth, I also realize that this could just be a compliment to some of your courses and other programs. But wherever you go, remember, it's always a political question. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter what the science says, it's the politicians that decide. So come, join me, join us here at Mount Allison in exploring politics.